Yeah, see, what I got to do is see is see Iggy Pop, because yeah, he's in L.A. right now, and um, he just really demolished the uh, hotel we're staying at in the lobby last night. We tore it up? Uh, no, just walked through it. Ah. Uh, and yeah, I just did that about an hour ago. It was they took one look and. You, if well, you, that was nothing. If you'd seen I what, on the street, if you'd know? seen what Iggy was wearing, I mean, you no, know, I thought it was fantastic, and so did Danny. So it was really super, you know. And he's with his girlfriend Sable, and uh, we all worked out, and the other, the people we passed just literally died. They could not believe it. They just could not. That's how. Oh well, wearing a huge white bow and no top. A huge white bow and no top, and God, what was he? Sarang. Some kind of sarong or All right, the dog. Uh, very right. large, very large uh, so scarf that right. you could wrap around your mid waist, you know, and then uh, knee, boots. knee boots, black, look like alligator knee boots, you know, with his hip blonde hair, you know, and makeup and everything, and these people just went mad. Blue yeah. comes to the Beverly Wilshire. Yeah, they <laughs> really uh, just couldn't believe it. I heard they didn't want David Bowie at the uh, Beverly Hill, not the Beverly Hill, the uh, Beverly Hills Hotel. Why? Well, I heard. I've, what is the future of glitter then? I have heard stories about that, which may involve the petite bonbons trying to uh, see David, you know, something like that. But. Uh, Andy's not allowed in one of those hotels for the similar reasons. What are the reasons? Audacity. Or organizations of a certain sexual bent uh, attempt to uh, migrate to your room. I get it. Dressed in whatever regalia they happen to have that night, which terrifies the rest of the hotel staff when they see that coming in the door. They say, all right. <laughs> You know, we've tried to be lean with you people, you know, but if this is what you insist on bringing into our hotel, you'll have to stay at the Tropicana. <laughs> you know. Calling the Hyatt House for you, they're picking up your bags. At the <laughs> right. So, uh, well, here's your bag, sir. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. It's a nickel bag. Take it to the Hyatt House. What does the future of glitter? Is it this year's hula hoop? Is it. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I. I, I think. Is there a I think the, 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 the potential is really, you know, fantastic. I mean, in the, it's in the Midwest. I've been out in the Midwest, and they're, uh, they're right there. I mean, the glitter people and pansexual people and transsexual people and uh, uh, drags and uh, you name it. And then there's the straight people, you know. And, the heads and they're all mixed together in this one amorphous crowd that is really kind of heavy to dig from the stage if you can see past the spotlight. Now tell about that. Look out, you see a 67 hippie and, and someone that looks like David Bowie next to him. And no, and <laughs> that, that's not all that's going on. Are uh, they doing sex there? No, that I haven't seen, but um, you know, you see some guy on Quaaludes. Mm. And he's making these incredible attempts to stand. <laughs> you know. And I'm trying to sing, sing a song, you know, as seriously as I can. And I'm getting to a verse, and I notice this guy with, who's like, gone, right? You know, potential, God knows what. But of course, I also know that he that he can't stand. And you watch him, and he gets in a crouch, and he's almost up. Then too much. Boom, <laughs> back down. You know, and the people in back of him yelling, you know, get off me! You know, because he fell over to other people, you know, and they're on speed and they're going like this, you know, you know, and uh, then, then there's, you know, the acid people who were sitting there saying, oh, far out. It's, this is really a heavy trip, man. You know, dig the colors, right? Like, I wear all black. What do you mean, dig the colors? You know, so. You know, there they are. And then there's the other people who are yelling at these people because they want to hear the song. Shut up! You know, and then there's the bouncers standing there who are these animals they found. Karate instructors. You know, standing there like this. You know, 
and when one of the quaalude monsters comes up they blow on them you know and they they shoot halfway back you know yeah you know here comes one loop yeah there he goes look at him fall yeah, yeah. that's what happens Lou Reed fallout yeah.